Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today I'll be talking about improvement with existing in-memory OLTP feature in SQL Server 2016. So with SQL Server 2016, there are a lot of features introduced and you can check the new features in my previous videos. Here in this video, I'll talk about the enhancement with the existing in-memory technology with SQL Server 2016. So here's a small recap. I'll not be talking about in-memory technology in depth, but I'll just give you a recap of it. Probably I'll make a separate video for in-memory technology that would be an in-depth. Please let me know your comments regarding this thing. Uh, so here I'll just talk about on a very high level about in-memory technology. In-memory technology was introduced in SQL Server 2014 and with this technology it introduced two new features. That was memory optimized or Hecaton tables and native compiled stored procedures. So that is also called in-memory OLTP. So with in-memory tables, there were some limitations and some of those limitations are addressed here in SQL Server 2016. Although it is an evolving technology and the new features would be added as we go forward. So uh, the primary condition to create in-memory tables or the memory optimized tables were that the in-memory table should have a primary key with a non-clustered index. It does not support a clustered index. And that non-clustered index can be a hash or a range index. So it has in-memory in-memory tables has two particular type of indexes, range or hash, and you have to specify hash index while you are creating it. Range indexes are by default and both are non-clustered. A uh, non-cluster index is a covering index by default. While creating a non-cluster index, you don't have to give the columns. It is a covering index for all the columns by default. And while you are creating hash index, you have to provide the bucket count for the number of buckets uh, that is required for hashing. So with in-memory tables, it provides you two options that tells about the durability of the table. That is a schema and data and schema only. So you can provide either of these two options. By default, it is a schema and data means that the data that is stored in a table is durable. But if you choose a schema only, the data in the table is not durable means when the SQL Server restarts, the data is washed out. The data will not be present in the table, but only the schema will be preserved. So this schema only function could also be used as a replacement of a temporary table. But the schema and data feature preserves the data even after you know the SQL Server or the services are restarted. Uh, it internally uses delayed durability feature for maintaining durable disk based copy. That is, as it is in memory table, so all the operations insert, update, delete, everything happens in memory. And this delayed durability feature does a background process to you know sync the in memory table with the disk based table. Okay, so here it, how it goes. On creating a table or a native compiled store procedure, the SQL code is converted to a C code which is further compiled to a DLL. This gets loaded into memory, knows the indexes and row format of the tables. So when you create an in-memory table, the data always gets loaded into the memory rather than the disk. As I said, the, there is a background process that makes the data durable. Similar happens with the stored procedure. The stored procedure internally gets compiled to a DLL and that DLL gets loaded into memory and that's very very fast. So if you compare a normal SP and a native compiled SP that is already compiled to a DLL so it is very very fast. So as I said the data in the table gets loaded into the memory only so this is a lock and latch free object for more concurrency control because in the normal table scenario when you have to insert the data or and read the data that data has to be read from the disk always and insert it in the disk always and then it gets loaded into memory so to make that concurrency control so SQL Server engine has to lock and internally apply latches to the SQL Server pages and at times you might see deadlock and blocking into your uh, database while working with normal tables disk or disk based tables but here with in-memory tables it's a lock and latch free environment so you won't be seeing any kind of uh, locking or concurrency. Okay, I'll now move to the in-memory enhancements. So what new enhancements have been made in SQL Server 2016? So as you can see here, this column is for 2014 and the last column is for SQL Server 2016. With SQL Server 2014, there was a limitation of 260 GB of the size of the table, in-memory table. But now this has been increased to two terabytes. So either the table or a database could be 256 GB. Now it can be of two terabytes. Either one table can be of two terabytes or a collection of memory tables can go for two terabytes. So mag the maximum database size having the memory table should not exceed two terabyte now. Previously, all these features are not supported like alter table, alter procedure, 
you cannot have where care max and where binary max column on the tables now you can have these third type of object has been introduced is natively compiled scalar UDFs so previously there was no there was only table and a stored procedure now you have third uh, object that is natively compiled UDFs nesting of natively compiled SPs was not previously now you can nest the native compiled SPs subqueries in native compiled SPs you can have those you can have DML triggers you can apply security and TD support on them Mars you know now you can design your table from SSMS without writing a code of create table statement full collision support so previously only bin 2 type collision was supported now other non bin collisions are supported you can see all these things here the collision support so uh, the queries within memory tables previously it was serially now it is parallel and the checkpointing process that I told you to the background process that syncs the memory records and the disk based records. So now it is a previously it was a single thread, now it is a multiple thread. And storage for deleted rows, and uh, this is fast now because of the file stream decoupling. And the other query enhancements are you can see uh, you can apply left and right outer join and or not union and union all options. Uh, you can have apply distinct, you can have sub queries with exist clause, in clause. You can apply foreign keys, check constraint, unique constraint, and you can even have indexes on the level columns. So previously with SQL Server 2014, these were the limitations. Now all these limitations have been addressed. So these are all the new features that have been introduced in SQL Server 2016 for in-memory tables or um, uh, memory optimized tables and natively compiled stored procedures and scalar UDFs. So uh, thanks a lot. In the next video, I'll talk about column store indexes enhancements in SQL Server 2016. Till then, stay tuned and uh, please like the video. Please subscribe my channel and please let me know if you have any comments. Thank you.